Hey, it's me, Destin. I have been invited out to a professional motocross race for Ryan Sipes' house. And today, we're gonna talk about how to control a motorcycle. All right, so we're in rural Kentucky. And we've got the V10 high-speed camera again. And a bunch of jumps. Let's say that you, you go over on the bike and uh, you're coming up too high and you need to rock her back down. So all you do is if you've got a flywheel going here, you've got rotational energy stored up here, uh, one half I omega square. And so what you do there is you just tap your brakes. You can laugh. <laughs> you, you tap your brakes and uh, once you do that, that transfer this rotational energy to the whole body of the bike. And once you do that, then you'll rock it back over. And Ryan's gonna demonstrate that for us because he does that intuitively. Okay, okay, I'm filming. Explain that again. I didn't get it. So basically, what you're gonna wanna do, I mean, the technical terms behind it, you're gonna wanna keep the vertical inertia of your sprocket bearings right. okay. and your front swing arm caliper vertex equal to X. R oh, wait. What? No, that's, that's like, I mean, we all had to learn it before. <laughs> 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 All right, so college boys getting made fun of here. <laughs> 